Hey guys, Mrs. Klein here. How are you? This is May, week eight, day two. For those of you that have the story, frog or toad. Now, um, this passage is for Tuesday's assignment, or no, Wednesday, sorry. Tuesday would be day one, Wednesday would be day two, and then um, Thursday and Friday, the packets are due. So we're just going to do um, a couple videos this week and a couple pages. There will be some pages that are left blank. That's okay. You may keep the blank pages at home to work on over the summer, or you may turn them in blank and that's fine. Um, or if you want to do them, that's fine as well, but there will not be a video for them. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and look at frog or toad. And here we have it, frog or toad. Oh my goodness, look at these pictures. I bet if these pictures were in color, they would be super pretty. My son right now has been really liking catching um, toads and frogs in our backyard. So let's read this and see what the difference is. Can you tell a frog from a toad? Frogs and toads are alike in many ways. They both start their lives in water. Later, both can live on land or in water. Grown frogs and toads use lungs, use lungs to breathe. Frogs and toads are also different. Frogs have narrow bodies, toads have wide bodies. Most frogs have smooth, wet skin, and most toads have dry, bumpy skin. Frogs jump using their long back legs. Toads walk and hop using their short back legs. That's interesting. All right, let's see here. Where do both um, where do both frogs and toads start their lives? A on land, B in water, or C in trees? Yes, you guys know they start as tadpoles. Yes, in the water. Good job. Okay, number two. What two animals does this text compare? Insects and amphibians, frogs and toads, or tadpoles and fish? I'm gonna let you guys decide that one, okay? I'm not giving you the answer. Let's do number three now. Frogs and toads are different in some ways. What information from the text shows us that this is true? So what shows us that they are different? A. Later in their lives, both frogs and toads can live on land or in water. Well, that tells how they're the same. We wanna know how they're different. B, grown frogs and toads use lungs to breathe. That's how they're the same again. We wanna know how they're different. C, frogs have narrow bodies, toads have wide bodies. Is that how they're different? That is one way that they are different. You are correct. Good job. Let's look at number four. What is frog or toad mainly about? And I want you guys to decide this on your own. What is the story frog and toad mainly about? A, frog or toad is mainly about how toads and frogs are alike and different. B, frog or toad is mainly about the characteristics of toads. Or C, Frog or toad is mainly about the characteristics of frogs. Good work, yes. All right, I see most of you guys got that one right. I can't wait to see when you turn them in. Okay, number five, what do grown frogs and toads use to breathe? Okay, and it says, we've read that, we read that in the passage and we stated it in one of the questions, or it was in one of the questions, I believe. So, who can remember? What do grown frogs and toads use to breathe? Guess what? They use the same thing that we use to breathe. Lungs, yes. Grown frogs and toads use lungs to breathe. Good work. All right, if you guys, um, oops, sorry, I almost turned the page there. If you guys need to pause that, that's fine. And I look forward to getting your work back and seeing how you guys did. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love and hugs, bye.